Welcome back here to Live Now from Fox. Well, Twitter is rolling out an edit button for its paid subscribers. I spoke to a social media and tech expert about this. Fox, thank you so much for joining us. I'm Shirley Descorbat. Well, Twitter just announced they will be uh, testing an edit button. Now, this comes after many users have been begging for this for years. Well, to help us analyze this, we're joined by uh, social media expert Jessica Malusian. She's the director from the Competitive Enterprise Institutes. Jessica, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, help us analyze this when you first heard about this. What were your initial thoughts? Well, I think the good news for everyone, even if you hate this idea or you love it or you don't even use Twitter, um, the, the positive takeaway is that there's still innovation happening out there. These companies are still trying to figure out how to get it right, how to get it better. And I think that's good news for people who love social media and for people who are frustrated by social media. That's so true. Obviously, uh, social media companies are constantly trying to change and stay up with the times. Uh, but Twitter mentioned that this particular feature will be available for those who pay a subscription uh, fee uh, for their Twitter Blue premium service. But right now, again, it's only available uh, and it's only being tested internally. Um, but some people are saying that, you know, they have some concerns you know, the feature will only be available uh, once it launches, people will only be able to use it initially for the first 30 minutes uh, because they feel, some people are saying they feel this could uh, be lead to misinformation. What do you think about that? Well, I think that's a valid concern. So like you said, they're gonna test it internally um, within Twitter first, then they'll roll it out to their subscription users, see how that goes, maybe make some adjustments, and then eventually it will be offered to everyone on the platform. But you're right, the window to change your tweet, to fix your misspellings, or perhaps to do something more nefarious is only 30 minutes after you tweet. So you have that time frame, and there will be a timestamp on your tweet that'll show whatever edits you make. And I think that's because the concern is that someone could tweet one thing, you retweet it, you love it, you comment on how much you agree with it, and then 28 minutes later, they could say the opposite thing. There could be some tomfoolery on Twitter, if you can believe it. Um, so that's, I think, one way they're trying to get a handle on that is with that timestamp. So that if you see that it's been edited, you can be a bit more skeptical as a viewer of that tweet. Now, Twitter is one of the few social media uh, networking sites where people are not able to edit their captions or their posts. Uh, do you see any pros from all of this, besides obviously the company just trying to stay up with innovation and change things? Yeah, I think that this could be a big relief for those of us who uh, aren't always perfect on the go with our spelling or our punctuation. Things go wrong, you're in a hurry, you're trying to get there first you're distracted, you're doing 20 million things. I think for the average user, it's probably good news and it'll be a convenient option. But I, there are some hardcore Twitter lovers out there who really think that this is a problem because it, it changes the nature of Twitter. It's supposed to be sort of that raw, in the moment, first draft. And there's probably something to that. But I, I think mostly here, we're talking about matters of opinion, right? Some people are gonna like it, some people aren't. But this is really not a matter of much principle, I think. I, I don't think there'll be any you know, legal problems or moral quandaries here. I think it's just kind of trying to tweak their service to get more people to be happy with it. Oh, very good points there. Uh, and as a social media and technology expert, do you have any other thoughts maybe that we didn't bring up uh, regarding this Twitter edit button feature that's being tested? I think the big thing in here is, you know, you hear about these tech giants, and I will point out that Twitter is a relatively small social media platform. Um, it, it's very influential. It kind of punches above its weight that way. Your average Twitter user is younger, leaning a little bit more to the left. Um, and, you know, 10% of the biggest tweeters on Twitter produce 80% of the content. So you kind of keep narrowing, narrowing, narrowing that down. And this is kind of a niche platform, right? This isn't a huge TikTok or a Facebook. So I think experimenting in these niche places is probably a great way for us to figure out what we're doing on social media. It's still relatively new for all of us. And we're trying to figure that out culturally. We're trying to figure that out uh, with policy changes. So there's, there's a lot that we haven't tried yet, and I think this is a step in the right direction. Do you think that people should really have to pay for this? I mean, it's only possibly going to be offered uh, on Twitter Blue, which again, people will have to pay for it. What about the other uh, Twitter users? 
from what I've read, I think they will end up expanding this um, to to everyone on the platform page, subscriber or not. But I think they're taking their time, right? Because if there is some horrible <laughs> ramification to this new idea that no one's thought of yet, they want to sort of contain that, um, make some tweaks and make it even better before they roll it out as a mainstream feature. I mean, they've tried things before that haven't taken, that they've pulled off. Um, so sometimes things hit and people love it. And sometimes it's kind of a flop and it goes away. But again, this is the experience. If it's successful or if it's not, we still know more about what we're looking for as consumers. I think that's great news. Definitely. All right. Jessica Malusian, uh, social media and tech expert. Thank you so much for helping us break it all down here for our viewers on Live Now from Fox. My pleasure.